Hi everyone, Physics Ninja here. Uh, today I want to revisit another problem I did about a year ago. It was this parallel RC circuit, and I solved it using Kirchhoff's laws, and it was actually a very complicated problem. It involved some differential equations, kind of coupled equations, and what I was able to do, I was able to find the uh, current in every single branch in this parallel RC network. Um, quite complicated approach. So what I'm going to do today, this is a request I had from a viewer. I'm going to show you how to solve the problem using an equivalent uh, Thevenin in a, a circuit in order to find uh, the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. So let me show you how to do this. It is the best method to solve this problem, much better than the previous method I did. Um, so let's set it up and show you how to do it. Again, remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on my channel, consider subscribing. Any questions, just shoot me an email. Okay, so we start off with the network here on the right-hand side. I've got one battery, I've got two resistors, and I have one capacitor that is in parallel with the resistance R2. And the goal now is to find what is this current here flowing through the capacitor. And imagine when I just first close the switch over here. So what is this current here as a function of time? And also, what is the voltage across the capacitor um, as a function of time? And we're going to do that now using a Thevenin equivalent network, which means I take, I isolate my capacitor and any other circuit that includes batteries and any number of resistors can be represented by one single equivalent Thevenin battery and one that is in series with one Thevenin resistance. So that's it. And once we have this problem over here, this guy becomes very, very simple because we only have one resistor and one capacitor. And the solution to that, the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time, this is done in any standard textbook, equals to, again, it looks something like this. Uh, exponential of minus the time and divided by tau, which is a time constant. And for this problem here, the time constant is simply um, R Thevenin multiplied by the value of the capacitance. So our goal now boils down to two problems. We have to find what is this Thevenin voltage and what is this equivalent Thevenin uh, resistance. And once we have that, we've basically solved the entire system. All right, so let me show you how to set this up and solve for those two values uh, given this initial circuit here on the right-hand side. If you were now going to plot what the voltage across the capacitor looks like as a function of time, Let's just give it a sketch over here. So if I put time on this axis, I plot the value of V across the capacitor as a function of time. Again, at time equals to zero, you substitute that inside here, you get one minus one. So the voltage initially, the capacitor is uncharged, so there's no voltage across the plates. And when time gets very big, this second term here is an exponential decay, and that goes to zero. And at the end, you're gonna be left with some value out here, which is, it tends toward my Thevenin value of uh, the voltage. And then that simply looks like an exponential and approaches some saturation value, which is equal to V Thevenin. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up the equations to solve for uh, both of those unknowns. All right, so there are two important steps to find the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance. For the Thevenin voltage, all you do is you go, remember our goal was to look at the current or the voltage across the capacitor. So what you do is you remove the capacitor and you produce an open circuit here with the element of interest. So the first step to find the Thevenin voltage is you basically, the Thevenin voltage is equal to the voltage of this open circuit. Which means if you were gonna measure the potential difference here between points A and point B, that is the value of V Thevenin. That is also the potential difference across this resistance R2 because it is in parallel with uh, AB over here. So that's all we need to do is, for this case, V open circuit is simply equal to the voltage across the resistance R2. And that you can use Ohm's law. So all you need to do is find the value of R2 and multiply it by the current flowing down here in this branch. Let's call it the current I. All right, in order to find this current, all we need to do then is to apply Ohm's law, right? What you can do is you think about just this branch here over here on the left-hand side. We've got a single power supply. We've got two resistors that are in series. 
The path here over here on the right hand side basically has infinite resistance, so you're not going to get any current flowing here. So here the equivalent resistance is R1 plus R2. The voltage is V, therefore the current you can write immediately as simply being the voltage divided by the equivalent resistance, which is R1 plus R2. Okay, so there you have it, folks. So we have V Thevenin, which is equal to V of the open circuit. So let's just write out one final expression. Just group all the resistance terms in the front. Remember, this basically just a voltage divider here. So R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by the voltage. So there you go. We have our expression now for uh, V Thevenin. The next part now is how do you find the resistance? Again, you remove my capacitance and what you do is in this case here you also short out the ideal batteries here you short out all the batteries in your network and then you find the equivalent resistance between these points a and b and again now you're kind of looking back into the circuit so what's the equivalent resistance well you have points a b you have resistance r1 and r2 that are in parallel with each other although they kind of look a little bit odd but if i just drag R1 over on this branch, you'll see they truly are in parallel with each other. So therefore, the Thevenin resistance is basically just the resistance between points A and B. That's just this equivalent resistance. So let me just write it out like this. So that there must be equal to the Thevenin resistance. So in this case, it's simply 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Put things on a common denominator and flip it around. You eventually obtain that the Thevenin resistance is equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by the sum. Okay, so that means right away now, I go back to the previous expression that the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time is equal to, again, V Thevenin is this value here. So we have R2, R1 plus R2 multiplied by the voltage of the battery that we had, and one minus my exponential of minus T divided by my RC time constant. And for this circuit here, the RC time constant, again, is simply going to be my Thevenin equivalent resistance here, which is R1 multiplied by R2 divided by the sum. And all that gets multiplied by the capacitance of that circuit. All right, so there you have it, folks. You know, in less than a few minutes, we've obtained actually the voltage across the capacitor. If you try to solve this here using um, Kirchhoff's, uh, Kirchhoff's laws, it's going to take you about 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> All right, that's it for me, folks.